Alright, hello, my name is Josh. I'm going to show you how to install D2 War on Mac OS X. Uh, first off, we're going to check for any updates um, that may, you may have to do to the software, to the operating system. Just make sure all the software is compatible. Uh, so just open up your app store and then go to updates. And just wait for it to load and then install any updates that you have to. And then if there's no updates, you're good. After that, go to the website in the description, Quartz. Download that. Put it wherever you want it. Doesn't matter. You can delete it after you use it. And go to the Wine HQ website and go to get the, uh, the installer for the staging, the Wine staging. <clears throat> and uh, then go to D2 War and go to Resources and you need uh, three things. The fresh install files. You're going to need... I'd recommend putting all this in one folder. Uh, you're going to need the the patch files, which is D2 War install files, beta, and you're also going to need the glide wrapper. And once you have all those, just put them in a folder and uh, we're ready to go to the installation. First off, you're going to want to install Quartz, which is going to, um, at the end of it, it's going to make you log in and out of your out and back in to your um, user. It's just a uh, some type of security precaution or something, but uh, it's basically it'll let this software will let you run Wine, which will let you run Diablo 2, which then we just do do the regular installation for Diablo 2 War. So go through all this. Alright, now we're ready to install Wine. So run this package, double check that off, check the 64 bit. It's very quick. And then after that's finished, you're going to want to go to the directory where we downloaded the installer and go to the classic installer and right click and open with Wine. <coughs> and just as a first time run we're gonna have to install this and there's two other packages that we'll also have to install but it does it automatically you just have to click a button install this
install that and after this we'll be ready to actually use the Diablo 2 installer which you'll be familiar with these next steps are pretty basic after this finishes All right. There now install, and you're gonna wanna use your CD key, or um, anyone will work. You wanna find uh, it's the one for the network installer, not the one for the disk. So if you have a disk key, you'll want to uh, go online and register it with Battle.net account, so you can get the uh, the installer CD key version of it to use for this. <clears throat> Install in program x86. And exit. And then go to the load of destruction installer, do the same thing. Right click and open with wine. And then install. Use your CD key the same way. And now we are ready to configure Wine. To get it actually run it, might as well clean off the clean up those shortcuts on the desktop. First, uh, type in this directory and go to it, and then uh, programs x86 Diablo 2, and yep, clean up the might as well clean those off the desktop because we're gonna create another one. Those one won't. Those won't actually work. Uh, you wanna first off unzip the patch files. Drag them over. Replace all. And then go to the G2 Glide wrapper and grab the D do bleh, grab the DLL. Drag it over. And then exit out of it, and then go to your launch launchpad wine. Type in wine cfg, and go to graphics and make sure that's check check off emulate virtual desktop, and make sure it's 800 by 600, and also enable uh, enable that under staging. And now you're ready to actually run. Diablo 2 uh, let's um, edit the gateway uh, add gateway under the destruction d2 war zone 1 and then there's the IP It'll all, all the information will be in the description if uh, you can't read it on the screen Click OK and make sure you set it as a default gateway and exit out. Make it make an alias and uh, drag it to the desktop. And there you go.